The man tased at the Kootenai County Courthouse is headed to trial Friday. You know what? You guys are really overstepping your bounds right now. Put the cuffs on him. Sorry, I'm going Robert ahead. Peterson charged with three counts of battery and one count of contempt of court. He's confident this video from his camera of the tasing will prove that he is innocent. He spoke to KXY 4's Anusha Roy this afternoon. Anusha? And the quick hearing basically confirmed that this matter will be moving on to a trial at the end of the week. Robert Peterson has been out on bail for a few weeks now and is confident that things will go his way. In August, Robert Peterson walked into the courthouse with his camera on. He had a hearing for riding a bike at night without a light. But in Idaho, you have to get permission from a judge before rolling. Peterson didn't have that. Shut the camera off now. The number no, of bailiffs you. multiplied and the courtroom was cleared. Once outside, Peterson tried to get past the bailiffs to tell the prosecutor he didn't miss his court date. Oh, 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 stop, please. I'm not doing anything wrong. Now Peterson is out on bail preparing for trial. What is the, your defense for the battery charges? What's going to be? I don't think I need one. Uh, I think the video is pretty clear in that I didn't batter anybody. The trial court administrator says typically a taser is used when verbal dialogue fails to bring a person into compliance. In this case, it seems tasing was used to protect the bailiffs and people standing nearby. Usually when a situation escalates like this, the chief bailiff is called. But in this case, the chief himself pulled the trigger. They were completely out of line to tase him. They did not use the standard uh, escalation procedures for for force. Uh, so they used excessive force and I'm I'm screaming mad. Peterson says he's a free man and that his unique political beliefs mean that he's not subject to most laws unless he has hurt or wronged someone else. In this case, Peterson says he did not hurt anyone and is confident the truth will come out. And this afternoon, he also said that he doesn't think that he broke the rule when filming inside that courtroom because the judge had not come in yet. When I talked to the trial court administrator, they said that the rule is that, the rule is that you cannot film without permission, and that is the bottom line. Live in Coeur d'Alene, Anusha Roy, KXLY4 HD News.